Party Vape Fam. So here it is. This is my dog barking in the background. No, this is my first juice review, and I'm absolutely excited. I kind of had a hard time deciding which one to do for my first because it's kind of a very cute, important milestone. So I decided to go with a milestone one for me. The first time I went to a vape store all by myself that wasn't like a local smoke shop that just happened to have like a couple of vapes and like tiny little vape pens with the five dollar screw on. Um, the first time I went in it was serendipity. It was meant to be. It was fate because I kind of had an idea what I wanted it to taste like because I had just been buying the cheaper stuff and I sort of knew what I liked and I saw a bottle and it was super pretty and I picked it up and I tried it and holy smokes ladies and gents guys and dolls so first one I'm gonna be talking about poor house and this is blood sugar uh, there's nothing in here because I vaped it all it makes me really sad but I will keep the bottle forever not only because it's beautiful it's got this it's a little lighter in person, but the green glass is just astounding. I want this to be a Yankee candle. Somebody light them. Um, so I'm going to talk about the presentation of it first. They've got this amazing kind of sugary skull voodoo lady here on the front, and I'm totally about the creep. So this is what actually grabbed my attention first. They've got kind of a spook vibe to two of their other juices too and I haven't even got to try them yet so we will go there what I'm gonna do is I am going to vape it, explain it, do all that and just so everything is kinda copacetic every single time I vape I'm going to use the same one I'm just gonna use my kangaroo sub mini and then I'm also going to vape at the same wattage. And I've found just for full flavor, not for trying to blow clouds or anything like that, I like to vape at like 15 and a half. So whenever I do a juice review, I'm going to do it at 15 and a half. I'm going to use the Kanger Mini, make it a little more even keel. So that being said, guys guys so blood sugar is a really cool name but it doesn't taste like blood or sugar the description on the bottle is lemon meringue pie and when you hit it um it, it's not lemony like tangy lemon it's a very very sweet lemon and I don't really know how to describe the aftertaste because I've had meringue and the weird part is is I don't I don't like lemon meringue pie I don't like it this is much more almost marshmallowy a very light marshmallow kind of a fluff but what blows my mind about this is it is the most full flavor experience I've had from probably almost any vape when you hit it you, f you get the taste, my dog again, The you get the taste first in your mouth, of course, duh. You take it down in, and as you're exhaling it through your nose, it's absolutely astounding what Poor House has done, because coming out of your nose, you smell it fully, and it's just out of this world, and then the flavor itself, when it hits your mouth, like, remember when you were a kid at a birthday party, and you'd grab that one, like, corner slice of cake with that bomb piece of frosting and it would just take up your whole mouth every single hit of this juice does that it is it's I want to say mouth watering but it's not gonna like make you drool it's not actually mouth watering um, it's you want to bite it you want to chew it it's so out of this world so 
it's kind of a really nice break because most people and most vape shops are going the custardy dessert types is custard vanilla, vanilla custard, custardy vanilla, vanilla e custard, custard vanilla, vanilla custard, and it's easy to get kind of bored with it. And what they've done with this and that kind of decadent dessert kind of taste and moving it into something that's completely original and unique is absolutely amazing. Uh, it's a 60-40 blend, sorry, PGVG. So, I mean, if I turned this way up and I wanted to, you could definitely get some better cloud off it. I'm not going for cloud in this. I'm just telling you about it. So, overall, I'm in love with it. I'm just, I'm excruciatingly in love with it. And if you want to try it and you can't find it at your local vape shop, I am a huge advocate for vape local, shop local, uh, nothing wrong at all with ordering online. I get a huge amount of my juice offline. But going into vape shops, it's just hanging out with the fam. It's community, you're going to get a little bit more experience, and you're going to try some juices that maybe you wouldn't otherwise. But if that's not an option for you because your shop doesn't carry it, or you're not in a place where you can just run out and do something like that, local vape dot com carries blood sugar and their other two mad mix and I'm forgetting their other one mad mix is a lot like candy and stuff like that but that's not what we're talking about and I promise you this is just it's one for the shelf and that's where it's going to be in my house I'm going to keep it I have very few juices that once it's completely gone I just want to keep the bottle so from design to taste to you know the ratio 60-40. I just don't think they could have done a better job. Completely hats off. I kind of want to marry them. I hope they're single. But anyways, um, yeah, I want to get going. That was my first review. I'm pretty stoked about it. Be sure to create it real and vape on, fam.